So let's go. Oh, man. Out of nowhere, we were expecting something maybe on Transformer Tuesday, but it looks like we're getting a big pre-order and tons of information and photography Monday today, the beginning of the week, for Transformers. This was uh, an item that we knew, I want to say November of last year. Yeah, it was about November 2021 where a whole bunch of listings leaked online of a potential Amazon-exclusive Wreckers line, and that's all we knew. And today we finally now know what's going on here. We have a pre-order for its first piece of this collection. We have some images. We got prices. We got release dates. Let's get excited about that. Let's break down what we're looking at here today so you know and can make sense of this product. Let's talk about the Transformers Legacy Wreck and Rule Collection, Comic Universe Impactor, and Spindle 2-Pack of the Amazon exclusive line. Now, first thing I want to say is uh, this looks fantastic. Um, as someone that is a huge fan of Simon Furman's books, I have a little bit of a bias here, and I'm going to go deep into the deep cuts of everything that's going on with this mold and the coloring, but... I really like what I see here, and that's going to be kind of uh, overshadowing all of this when I break down everything here. Um, again, these are two molds that kind of were birthed out of the War for Cybertron online, and they're definitely getting a lot of uh, use out of both of these molds. Actually, now that I think about it, both of these, both uh, Impactor and Spindle here, are the fourth repaint slash retools of their original molds when you think about it. So definitely getting a lot of mileage out of these. So let's start with the first one here. Let's start start with Comic Universe Impactor. Um, that mold itself started as a siege mold. It was a standalone siege mold. And then it got a new head sculpt that was more IDW accurate, I guess we could call it, and was done in the three pack with Mirage and uh, the Power Dasher, and then we got the Walmart Netflix edition, which again was using the original mold there and, you know, had a darker kind of paint scheme. So that was three right out of the gate right there. Now we have the fourth one here, and literally the entire upper torso, the head, the chest, and everything is brand new sculpted to match that of the original Simon Furman UK Marvel comic books generation one eighties release. Now the way I look at this is the coloring itself, which is the big, the big component for me here. I find that the coloring is more in tune with Impactor's first appearance, uh, where he was colored by, uh, Tony Jizuwa, Jizuwak. I, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Um, it's more in tune with that, where the actual sculpt itself, and it's probably mostly due to the fact that it's still tied to that War for Cybertron origin, but the sculpt itself more looks more like the Ron Smith art from later issues when Impactor used to appear in. But Ron Smith's coloring, uh, which was done by John Burns, uh, doesn't really match this. So it's it's kind of a it really it really in a lot of ways reflects his first appearance. And the, the brand new head sculpt looks fantastic. The the chest sculpt really matches that again too. That that eighties aesthetic from the old UK books. I think it looks great. I really do. I think it looks absolutely awesome. Um, and not much more I can really say. I in my opinion, I think that this is my definitive impact or figure. I understand there's people that really love the IDW version and will probably want to get that one. But to me, for me personally, this is this is the man right here. Uh, the alt mode, not much really to say. It's 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 all really um, it's all really seen mostly in that robot mode, but uh, looks really good. Looks really really good. A lot of gold plastic there, eh, guys? Hmm. Hmm. A lot of gold plastic there, though. I really wonder: is it painted? Is it molded? Time will tell. Time will tell. A lot of gold plastic there. So let's talk about the according to the uh, the bio here. The new recruit to the Wreckers, a female recruit of Spindle, or Spindel, however you'll want to pronounce it. I think Spindle is probably the correct, word, correct way to say it. Uh, Spindle is an ex insanely crazy retool of Paleo Treks. Uh, this is, wow. 
You know, like, I mean, when I first looked at it, I was like, okay. Because I know that when we saw the listings a while back, everything was kind of separated and we didn't know how this stuff was going to be rolled out in the assortments. And we just knew that there was going to be a fossilizer uh, Spinosaurus Rex. We just knew that. And a lot of people speculated, oh, well, if you take Paleotrex, you know, kind of retool them a bit, you could kind of get a Spinosaurus out of it. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And uh, so it's this brand new female character. Uh, again, the, the big retooling is the, 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 I guess, the back of the, the dino mode, which makes the, the fin of the Spinosaurus Rex, the new head sculpt. Obviously, there's new hands. Heavy retool here. Very, very nice. Uh, what I really like is, and I don't know if this is intentional, but in the robot mode, the chest sculpt has a chest detail that is ridiculously similar to the power core combiner Grimstone's chest, specifically his combiner mode. Uh, I'll post an image of it just to like show you guys. Like it, it's it's crazy. I'm pretty sure that was intentional to like just kind of do that throwback to that obscure power core Dinobots combiner of Grimstone and have that Dino connection there. Very interesting. But again, hey, new female character. I, that goes, you know, in tune with what Mark and Evan were talking about, how when they decide characters for waves and stuff, they want to have a little bit of a mixture of everything. And I guess there's a way to throw in a female character in a Wreckers assortment. Uh, really cool, really cool. I like, I like what I see. But there's more here. So according to the listing now, you're going to have like similar to the golden disc collection that we had with Amazon previously, where you collect everything and the boxes are going to make a diorama image of some kind. Uh, the wreckers standing in front of something, probably their HQ. But there's also a mention here that you have to buy all of them to assemble a weapon. And it's the wreckers hammer here. Now, I think this is probably more in tune because this is a legacy imprint item. You could see it with the, the box art, the coloring and everything like that. And Legacy, how it's all about, you know, combining these weapons, putting these weapons together, making all these combined weapons. We might have some translucent giant wreckers hammer thing. That's what I think they're probably going with. And that's probably due to its its legacy connection to kind of have that together. And that's why there's that build a weapon thing. And of course it encourages people to collect them all, buy all of them, because you gotta get that hammer, right? Uh that's gonna be an expensive accessory when it's gonna be sold on its own. I mean Look at Transmutate from the Transformers Beast Wars 10th Anniversary line. If you miss one guy, you don't get that accessory. Or uh, from uh, the Cy the Cyberverse uh, build a build a figure. So I think they you know they're just kind of going with that instead instead of doing a build a figure like the past times because Legacy is all about building weapons and I think that's kind of what they're just going with. It, if it's going to be translucent, I don't know, but I mean from what we've seen already. Now let's talk about price so pre-orders go up today as of this recording not sold out but that could change any moment it's on amazon right now 44.99 you get two deluxes for 44.99 so you're actually in this new inflation era and you're getting a fancy nice box and a extra accessory uh you're actually saving a little bit of money i'm actually surprised again good on you hasbro um so this is pretty cool uh Supposedly, he's going to release November 1st, 2022, so it'll be just before the Christmas season that you get this first piece of everything. Uh, now, let's talk about the other guys. And when we had the Golden Disc Collection, we slowly learned about everybody like very quickly, like day after day after day. So it might be the same thing here. There's five different releases we're supposed to get, and it's Monday. Maybe we're going to have all five before we hit Friday. That we'll know, at least, anyhow. So who is going to be next? Well, according to those listings, on top of the Deluxe Impactor Redeco, as it was listed, and the Fossilizer Spinosaurus, as it was listed, we had a Deluxe Leadfoot, which was, a, according to this, a repaint of Kingdom Mirage. So that's pretty cool. If anyone knows Leadfoot, the character, um, started in G2. So uh, the Rotor Force, that'd be pretty cool to see maybe with the yellow and blues. I dig that. Again, Formula One Transformer, kind of a bias there. I love those guys. Uh, I think he's going to be packed with, because we have like two very big boxes that are like for two deluxes. And then we got like three smaller boxes. So I think that like we have Impactor with 
spindle, two deluxes in that bigger box. And then we'll probably have Deluxe Leadfoot with the other fossilizer that was rumored, a fossilizer mammoth. I'm very interested about that one. Could be a uh, repaint slash insane retool of the Triceratops fossilizer. Pick your name, Tricerodon, or the, you know, whatever the hell they called them. <laughs> All the different names he had. Um, but it's possible that he might be paired with him, and that'll be the second big box there that make the foundation or the bottom of this display. And then you have a Voyager class bulkhead redeco. I'm going to assume it's a redeco of the legacy version that we already got. We got a Voyager class Springer. I'm going to assume that it's a redeco and hopefully maybe slight retool of the Siege one to give us a little more comic accurate, I guess, Springer. Maybe that's what they're going to go with. Who knows? And then we'll get a Studio Series 86 Springer down the line. You know, I think this won't be our, our movie Springer. Or, and I mean movie Springer, I mean 86 movie. I think this is going to kind of be more your UK comic book Springer or maybe like, uh, you know, Wreckers, Nick Roche Springer. I don't know how they're going to how they're going to want to twist it and go about it, but we'll see. Speaking of twist, nice segue I did there. Uh, the last one we have is probably going to be the, the, the final one there, a deluxe twin twist and top spin Wreckers members. We already saw one of them. They're probably going to use the Salt Man Z and Salt Man X and all of that kind of color scheme. So probably that's how those are going to be. We already saw one of them, so I'm a betting man. And that's probably going to be how it's going to be. The Impactor Spinosaurus is one box. The Leadfoot Mammoth is another box. The Bulkhead that's a Voyager standalone. The Springer that's a uh, Voyager is going to be standalone. And then Deluxe uh, Top Spin and Twin Twist will be a uh, another box set together. And that makes five. No? Eh, maybe eh. Well, we'll see <laughs> we'll see what happens let me know what you think about this guys i think this is awesome again maybe it's just a bias because uh we got something that's not like super simon Furman uk accurate and it has again those tony colors and that ron smith kind of shape i dig it it's really cool and we get a new uh, female record character so that's pretty awesome too let me know what you think pretty hype stuff otherwise nice art by marcello too everything is just looking sweet